Ooh, here is something for the fellas. Somebody bring me some water. This stuff is hot. Ah, I feel much better. Hello, everybody. Thank you in advance for watching my video and any of my other videos. Um, welcome once again to Anthony D. with Entertainment, Holy Bible, and more. I'm also known as Fascination Entertainment. Today I'll be talking about four video games that I have. Um, there's a hand L in there too, um, you know, in a four-part series. Before I get into it, I'd like to remind you to please click on the link below. Anytime the link pops up in this video and any of my other videos, click on the link below, check their website out, check their products out. Also stay tuned in this video for another good commercial because the commercial just finished. Wasn't it good? If you do this for me, thank you in advance. Um, I know my brother said to me, my older brother, David said to me that, you know, most of my music videos have white Jesus. I was a little shocked and surprised, but he said, you know, you want to see a black Jesus. So I made a music video with black Jesus because, you know, I searched, the internet, I searched the internet, but finding pictures of a black Jesus is hard. I mean, there's some, but it's very hard to find images. So I found this music video by Barbara Jones, you know, which is not long, but I didn't take anything out of the music. This is the, this is the entire music. The music is only a minute and 18 seconds long, which is perfect because it's not like the image on the internet of a black Jesus anyway. So I made a music video in, you know, you know, to my brother about a black Jesus. So check this video out and I'll come back to talk about my first video game system that I ever had, which is with a handheld called Game Gear, which is supposed to be a retro system. I'm sure some of you guys remember Game Gear. You know, I love it. Sega! But anyway, check this music video out. That's for my brother and anybody else. You can enjoy it too. And I'll be right back. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus, blessed Savior. Is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun unto the going of the same is worthy. Jesus is worthy. He's worthy. Blessed Savior is worthy to be praised. I'm back, everybody. Um, praise Him indeed, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, only the Lord Jesus Christ is saying to paradise and heaven. You know, the Muslim religion cannot do it. Halal cannot do it. The Quran cannot do it. Or Al Quran cannot do it. Confucius cannot do it. Buddhism cannot do it. Hinduism cannot do it. You know, idolatry cannot do it. No other religion can do it. But Christianity, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, the belief in the Lord Jesus Christ, which is Jehovah, Emmanuel, Messiah, the Nazarene, also known as Yeshua Amashiach, the son of David, Yahweh. That's the only way you get to paradise and to heaven. And now we're talking about the Game Gear. Um, the Game Gear is a system that was originally, the making of it started in 1989. Then it came out in 1990 in Japan and 1991 in America and so on. Um, when it came out, it came out, like I said, 1991. Um, the original version was the Black Game Gear. And you see the commercial for the black game, I was like, wow, that's hot. But then the blue one came out. And I was like, okay, uh, I like the blue one. I think there's out of color of it, of it too. I think it's a yellow. That's right, a yellow. I think it's a gray. But they might have just been a hacked up version. 
but the ones that used to sing commercials was the black version and the blue version. So my birthday was coming up. So, you know, I love video games. I was a child at that time. I wasn't even eight I wasn't even eighteen I wasn't even sixteen. You know, I was really young back in those days when Game Gear, you know, was there. Um, so I asked my mom, could she buy me the blue Game Gear? That's right, the blue Game Gear. I did not want it the black one. I like the color blue and green. So I had my mom bought the blue Game Gear and the green, uh, you know, the black Game Gear I didn't want. You know, um, but like I said, I think they may have come in out of colors, but those are only two colors I mostly see in the commercial. Now the Game Gear took six batteries. In the back of it, I have these breakaway things there. And it took six batteries. See that? Yeah, I'm, I'm focusing on it, but that. It took six batteries. But the bad thing about these things, it suck up batteries like crazy. You know, um, batteries, probably you put up new, fresh batteries in there. It probably only lose last like an hour to an, two hours and a half at best. They have they have battery charges for it. They do have battery charges for it. You know, um, so you can definitely buy the battery charger. Also, there's a TV tuner thing. A TV tuner. They connect into where the cartridge goes for the Game Gear. And you can list the radios. You know, there's many other accessories for it also. You know, you know, there's a lot of other accessories for it. But um, I didn't get the accessories. I just got the Game Gear, you know, with the power cord. And the power cord was the other good thing. Because the power cord I have, or the power cord in general, looks like this. Big and bulky. Now the good thing about this power cord is that, at least, or at least the one I have, is that you could use it on Game Gear. You know, it could work on the Game Gear. You know, and it could also work on Sega Genesis. That's right, Sega Genesis. Um, but you know, I'm not getting to that right now. Um, so, well. But I only had like six games for it. I played out of games for it, you know, but I didn't like them, you know. But the six I got, which I liked or love, is this. I had The Incredible Hulk, which I, you know, I, you know, I definitely like this game to love this game, you know. Um, I have um, Mortal Kombat 2, which is probably my least favorite. The one for Sega Genesis is better, uh, of course. Um, the game, I, the two games I love the most out of the six that I have, I love the Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. It's a fighting game, almost like a Mortal Kombat, Dead or Alive, Street Fighter type of a game. You know, it have the droids and all that in there. Um, when they these systems. When these games come, it comes in a case that looks like this. You know? You know. So it comes in popping like that. It comes like that. Um, another game I have is The Lion King. This one I also loved a lot. The Lion King and... Um, the Power Rangers, I like these two games a lot. I really do. You know, these are my two of my favorite games. I also have um, X-Men. You know, this is the first part. Um, it's alright. It's alright, you know. But um, I do, I do, you know, I do like it too, you know, or love it. Um, the other game and the last game I have for the Game Gear is another X-Men game, but this one is called X-Men. You guys see that? X-Men Game Master Legacy. X-Men Game Master Legacy. 
I like it also. Those are only six games I had, but I played out of games for it. You know, I played Sonic games out of games for it, but Game Gear have a lot of games. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of games. There's like, I think there's like over 200 to 300 games for the Game Gear. It's a lot of lots of games, you know. Um, when I originally got these, this Game Gear, you know, and the, um, and the, these games that I showed you, Game Gear was still in style. So this game here is not a used game system. It was bought brand new back in the 1990s when Game Gear was still in session. It was still, you know, the stuff. You know, the only competition it had was the Game Boy. You know, but this compared to the, the original Game Boy that was around the same time, this was blows. This was better. This blows the Game Boy away, or the original Game Boy, because this was around when the original Game Boy was there. Um, so I did get this, and I love it. The battery charger, you can get the battery charger. You know, like I said, it's other accessories for this game. Um, you know, so, you know, that's what I have, and, um, you know, it was a great system. You know, you can't, you can't, you couldn't go wrong with the Game Gear compared to, you know, the other systems. Let me see if I can plug it up, and see, let me see if I can at least put one of the games in for you. So you could see what I'm talking about. Let's see. I'm gonna put in the X-Men Game Master Legacy. Alright. So do you think all these cards just you have to blow in them? And inside. So you push it in. See? It goes like that, slide in the back. See, you slide it in. Slide in like that. Alright. You press the, turn the, the orange button at the top here. You click it like that. Sometimes it doesn't work. You know, that's a bad thing cost, so you have to try again. So I'm gonna try again. Push it in again. Let me see if it's not acting up. It's crazy. Okay, while I struggled to get the Game Gear working, let me talk about some of the accessories that Game Gear had. It had the TV tuner, which allows your Game Gear to tune into TV broadcast signals. Um, a coaxial cable to mini pin adapter can also allow the Game Gear to receive cable TV signals and enables the unit to be used as a camera monitor and playback screen. Um, another accessory that was the AC adapter and car adapter, which allows for uninterrupted gameplay when plugged in. Um, it can also charge battery pack while in use. Another accessory was the rechargeable battery packs. There were two types of battery packs released. One came with a belt clip and the other attached to the Game Gear itself. Both units contain a Nikad batteries, which gives their age, are often worn out, but are also easily replaced. Um, another accessory is the Game Gear to Game Gear link cable, which allows for two players to link up. You know? For our next accessory we have the super wide gear which magnifies the screen and blocks out external ambient lighting you have the master game gear converter which is kind of hot um, allows the master system games to be played to the game gear i have the game gear also just to let you know was reincarnated once again in in the late 2006 by several brands including Colloquio, Colicchio, and um, PlayPal. This smaller handheld device was powered by just three AA batteries and had a brighter screen and contained 20 built-in games. There are now many 
Game Gear emulators available for a number of devices, including the Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, Windows Mobile, iPod, PC, and the PlayStation Portable. There are also software emulators for the PC, Mac, and Linux. Game Gear games have um, also been added to the Wii Virtual Console under the label of the Sega Master System. Um, there have been a, um, a ripoff or a hack version of, an, uh, of the Game Gear called Atari Gear 2600 or 2600. It was created by a guy by the name of Chris Cooper. I have the, um, the Game Gear working out, so let's see. All right, like this for example, see, it says Sega, see, this is the X-Men Marvel Comics, um, all these games I have came out in 1994, um, that's the Game Master Legacy. You know. But you know, it's a good system. You know, you click start and you get a menu telling you to pick whatever you know, whatever option you want. But it's a good game. I mean, you know, I definitely recommend you to get it. You know, but none of these games and stuff is used, brand new, and I love it. You know, I never sold it. I kept it. So, you know, um, but that's pretty much it for my Game Gear. You know, um, but. This wasn't the only handheld system from Sega. There was another one called Nomad. Yeah, I'm sure you guys remember Nomad. I'm sure some of you remember Nomad. Um, it was it was um, a handheld system like this, but allows you to play Sega Genesis games on the move. It takes Sega Genesis games portable. But I never had that, so I'm not really going to that. So, you know, that's it for my Game Gear. Do come back for my next console, which will be under, yep, Sega Genesis. So, do come back. <laughs> Outstanding.